a preschool teacher was fired for creating OnlyFans material on school grounds. Brenna Percy, a par educator at Wolf Swamp Road School in Longmeadow, Massachusetts, allegedly filmed content for her OnlyFans on school grounds. OnlyFans is a subscription-based internet content company based in London, England. The service is used primarily by sex workers who produce pornography. Libs of TikTok, an online media site, intercepted her online activities and reported Brenna to the school administration. She has been dismissed from the school as a result. The Cook County State Attorney is dropping sex abuse charges against R. Kelly. Following federal convictions in two courts that will keep R. Kelly in prison for decades, State Attorney Kim Fox intends to drop charges. This decision came to light a day ahead of a hearing on state charges of sexual abuse of four people, three of whom were minors. She has acknowledged that the decision may be disappointing to his accusers. Chicago and New York courts convicted him of a raft of crimes, including child pornography, enticement, racketeering, and sex trafficking. 56-year-old Robert Sylvester Kelly is serving a 30-year sentence in the New York case and awaits sentencing on February 23 in Chicago Federal Court. He will not be eligible for release until he is around 80. A Chinese food blogger, TZ, has received a fine of approximately $18,500 for posting a video of herself purchasing, cooking, and eating a great white shark, a protected species in China. The video, which was shared on the Chinese social media platform Douyin, showed TZ buying the roughly six-foot shark and preparing it two ways, grilled and sautéed. After tissue samples confirmed it was a great white, TZ, also known as Jean, was found to have broken China's wild animal protection law. She was fined 125,000 yuan, $18,500, and the fishermen and seller involved in the purchase were arrested. The video caused widespread outrage among viewers and led to calls for legal action. Electrically charged stones have been found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Various news outlets and social media sites are speculating that electrically charged stones have been located in the mineral-rich country of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. There are videos and pictures in circulation showing these special stones. However, it is possible that the information might not be accurate. The concept of electrically charged stones is not a well-established scientific theory. It is also not recognized by the scientific community as a real phenomenon.